What's up, family? This is your man, not your boy. Go black to Africa. Hey, let me share this information with you all because I'm smelling something very familiar over the past 55 years I've been here on this earth in knowing what is actually going on possibly behind the scenes of our young sisters who are claiming mental disturbance. Now, we all know Simone Biles, who today, July the 28th, 2021, withdrew from the Olympics. And she is a magnificent, I can't remember how many gold medals she's got in the gymnastics, but she withdrew because of mental disturbance. Now, we do also know that Naomi Osaka, a prolific tennis player, withdrew from the Wimbledon for mental issues. Now, we know Shikari Richardson, who was pop positive for marijuana. She claimed she was dealing with some mental illness. Now, let me share this with you all right here. How is it that three women who have been born and bred into the fields they in have gone through the struggles, the strains, the wins, the losses, the competitions, competing around the world, going through it flawlessly to get where they are at the height of their career, are now going to talk about mental issues. How is it that they are in their 20s, respectively, sitting there on top of the throne and want to withdraw, unheard of, from competing from where they're dominating in the sports that they are in. Now, I say there's something that smells very familiar. And if we know those who were in a sports arena that came through, who made way for other sports people, whether we're going to talk about in the 50s, in the 60s, that those who were great sports figures came out years later to share about the death threats, shared about the discrimination behind the scenes that we knew nothing about, but decided they were going to tell their stories years later. How is that now that we are seeing three women who are claiming mental issues and withdrawing from the very sport they dominate? Now, if anybody wants to know who probably is the strongest human beings on this planet, is the woman. And I'm going to say that proudly. Why? It is a known fact that a woman can carry more stress than a man can ever go through. It is a fact. A woman going through childbirth probably is the most painful that any pain a man can ever experience. It is a fact. A woman who turns around and raise, who can raise children, who can work, who can have a business, can maintain it and do it flawlessly. It is a fact we have had women warriors. We have had women who were on the front lines. Ain't never quit from no mental issues. How is it in the year 2021 that we have three at the top of their game, top notch, can't be beat, are claiming mental disturbance. And I'm gonna tell you this right here, and I'm gonna say it is in my opinion. These women, I believe, are going through death threats. They are going through discrimination. They are being pressured. They are being forced to make decisions to withdraw. Did y'all just see today the pressure of the president of Tanzania took the vaccine shot? 
and she stood by Maga Fooley wholeheartedly against it. But why now all of a sudden today? Why today? What is going on that we do not know about? What is it that we need to take note, observe, watch, and listen to see we are under attack? And our women who are in their 20s is showing there's just more to come down the road in the future with our youth. You see, they want us to think that we can't mentally handle anything. We have gone through slavery, Jim Crow, hangings, burnings, shooting killings. We have gone through the Tuskegee, daggone syphilis project. We have gone through the spraying of the chemicals from the St. Louis experiment. We have gone through the Detroit water, lead in the water project that they have put upon us. We have gone through the, the, the hills, through the valleys of the ups and downs and we have handled it as best as we could. And I will not be convinced that three black women is screaming mental anguish when they were babies coming out of the mother's womb, dominating a sport that very few could touch. And now at the top and the height of their careers, they're withdrawing. Now, if you don't smell something, I do. And let me tell you, I've smelt it before. There's something going on and it will root his head. And I share with my brothers and sisters, be vigilant. Be watchful because your adversary roams about like a roaring lion seeking whom it may devour. For it wants to kill, steal, and destroy. And if you're not aware and don't understand the pressures that will be, you are going to be screaming mental anguish. So I ask you to spiritually discern what's actually transpiring within our people. If you look at how many presidents have just been assassin, black presidents in the last year, you gotta ask yourself what's going on. Something in the spiritual realm is unfolding and we need to take note and understand there is an attack on the way and that is happening. There is nothing more than one would want to get a gold medal because they see there is one in their way or one who wants to get the gold out of the ground and will remove one out of the way to get that gold. Think about it. These women are representing or trying to get gold. There are people trying to get in Africa have been taking gold for all these years and will remove and cause a divide to try to get what they want to put themselves in the forefront, which is facts. You chew on that. Hopefully you can digest it. This is your man, not your boy. Go black to Africa. Africa.